Hey guys, Ruprecht here. I want to talk to you about event effects within Studio One. So this is a really, really handy feature that kind of uh, saves you from using automation um, a lot of the times just for, for little things. Like in this particular instance, I have a guitar part and I have a little like guitar kind of lead fill thing at the end. And I just want to kind of, I don't know, maybe throw some delay or do something to it. Um, so you can see what I've done. I've cut out the little piece here. So let me just play back a little bit. Okay, so I've got that. And basically what I want to do, I'm just going to throw some delay on it. And I don't want to automate it. So what I can do, if I have the track selected over in my inspector, I have this event effects area and I can hit enable and it opens up this little box and basically what I can do is just grab a plug-in throw it on there now I have this groove delay just on this one event so I don't know I'll pick something here okay and now we'll hear that this region over here won't have the effect and then this will Okay, so that's a little over the top, obviously, but you get the idea. So let's say that I loved that, but I'm wanting to kind of conserve CPU power. What I can do after I get my effect the way I want it, if I hit render, it basically bounces that down. So now the plug-in isn't taking up any CPU. Now, the, the cool thing about this is that at any point, if I want to go ahead and tweak it some more, all I have to do is hit restore, and then there it is. And I can mess with it more. So let's say if that's too much, I'll bring it down. And maybe want it down even more. Okay, and then if I like it, I just hit render again. Now it's not taking up any CPU. So. It's a real handy function within Studio One. I use it constantly. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Ruprecht out.